In summary, I believe that hypnosis as a forefront therapy has merit. You don't see this as playing God? I feel we need more research and external regulation by the Ethics Committee. But you have to understand how powerful this therapy is. Late, but give it attention. Alison Levenstein. Yes, sir. Uh, Miss Levenstein, I believe corsetry is not approved school attire. That's the point. Liz Murphy. Yes, sir. Cut that fine. Oh, can I say I'm a rebel? I live on the edge. Before we kick off, I'd like to remind those that volunteered that tomorrow night we'll be doing the solar system mural. That's us. Did I tell you I hate you? This lesson the effects of chlorophyll in leaves. I shouldn't have bothered come on. <laughs> Looking sharp today, Dr. King. I just came out of a meeting with the ethics boys and got final approval on my therapy. Well done. Thanks. You went for a long haul? Not today. I'm gonna surprise Mac. Anyhow, to work. Hey Alex. Hey, how are you? Ah, oh, I'm good. I've just popped in to do the hospital rounds. How's the nutcase menu looking? Much of the usual. Hey, sweetie. Shouldn't you be upstairs? She's a harmless soul. She sometimes sits and talks to the patients. So how's your garden dealing in the heat? Oh, brilliantly. Thank you for the advice. Maybe you should change your career. You've got a full set of green fingers. <laughs> Get her up to the psych ward. What did you give her? The Dazzle. That'll knock her out. How do you stop that from affecting you? Most of the time it doesn't. You know, on a scale of one to boring, that lesson was very boring. I enjoyed it. I yeah, you would. would. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna need this corset if I keep eating them. Give them to Liz. She doesn't get that. <laughs> Isn't he just so <laughs> gorgeous? What do you think, ladies? A guy like him and a girl like me. 
Anywho, I'm gonna be going. Parents will think I'm off with that pierced girl thing if I'm late. <laughs> Yeah, the salvos are giving out free meals at the shelter. You might get to eat tonight. Uh, well, at least I know how to eat without having to throw it up five minutes later. What was that? Poverty girl? What is your problem? People like you. Or like me. Just look at you. Those shoes are so carbon dated. Go screw yourself. At least she doesn't shop at clothes for hoes. She's just jealous. Of what? An amazing lack of money. At least you're not some spoilt little rich bitch. I, she just, she gets to me. You don't say. You are one of the most amazing artists in the school. I mean, you've got to ask yourself, what's Francis got to offer the world? Where are your <laughs> pom-poms? At home? What's the plan? Uh, you go to the movies? You go to the hospital and catch a look with mum? Cool. Oh, he's just so sexy. Oh, please. Johnny Depp, way more gorgeous. Nah, oh, no, no, no. Uh, don't argue. Sorry, we're so not having this discussion anymore. Oh, <laughs> Guys, how you doing? So, Sophie, got Dr. Armstrong yet? I'll go see what your mum is doing. Yeah, and um, just uh, check on the good doctor on your way through. <laughs> I was deluded. Karen, don't you ever touch me like that again if you want to be friends. Everything okay? Fine. The girls are out front. Mm-hmm. I'll tell them you'll be out in a minute. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Anniversary. <laughs> I worked for ages, saved money for them to go out. Yeah, so much for the big surprise, eh? Do you want me to stay the night? You don't mind? <laughs> or I could keep your company. Hey, don't ever diss the Ronnie. Now you got a comfy floor. I'll call mum. <laughs> Where the fuck were you? Here, waiting for you. Sure you weren't off fucking some doctor. I told you it's over, okay? And my parents told me about Santa Claus. Oh, I can see where all our money's going. Working overtime? Does he pay you by the hour? I was working late at the hospital. If you don't believe me, ask Liz. Okay. I will. Sorry. You okay? Been better, been worse? Um, we're both sorry about last night. I'm just here to keep Liz company. I'll work it out. They've been working it out for years. My stop. You don't want me to walk you home? I'm not sure I want to get there at all, really. I'm not quite sure what to say. Yeah, thanks for not saying anything. 
Watch out for strange men. <laughs> Scared of the boogeyman? I kick his ass. <laughs> So it's blood? It appears to be, yes. We'll need to cross-match with hospital records to confirm. Then maybe it's a mistake. Has there been anyone who's been taking a little too much interest in Liz lately? No, she doesn't even have a boyfriend. Liz doesn't make enemies. Would anyone want to hurt her to hurt you? No. Listen, anything you say is confidential. She's Kaz's not so little girl. I've dealt with every illness for the past eight years. Did she know about the affair? I doubt it. But that's over. Who ended it? She did. Why? Because I'm going to try with my husband. That upset you? A little. I know you're not happy. Made you angry? A big mistake. Care to explain the bruising on Karen Murphy's arm? A moment of anger. I was deluded. Karen, don't you? Sure you didn't take it out on a daughter? If I'm all you've got, you're doing a very bad job. We'll be in contact. I suggest not taking any sudden holidays. Oh, the blood on the needle was Lizzie's. But they have no leads. They want to do a reenactment. You don't have to do this. I should have walked the whole way home with her. I'm doing this. If you had to walk the whole way, then She maybe... wouldn't have been alone either way. What happens next? We film the reenactment. Hope it triggers someone's memory. I'm Sarah. These were the last known movements of Elizabeth Murphy. Anyone who saw anything suspicious is encouraged to ring the police hotline at the bottom of this screen. This isn't supposed to happen to us. It happens to someone else. We feel sorry for them. We hope they find their daughter safe and well. It's not meant to be us. Hi, I'm just ringing. I don't know why I'm ringing. Maybe just to hear Liz's voice on the answering machine. Sorry. I can't stay here. I have to go do something, anything. We don't know where she is. Well, then we look. I don't know where, we just look. I have to stay here, she might call. Well, if anything happens, call me on the mobile.
asked you out on a date. What are you talking about? But I thought about? I'd go. I thought I might get lucky this time. What, he called you? Yeah, here. we went to the Rustic Cafe, your little lover's oh, trip. Oh, stop it. I told him it was over today. I don't care what you right. told him, because he's clearly not getting you it. You just don't believe anything I say. Can I believe it when this prick keeps bringing my... I'm so sorry. So are we. I understand you don't have a family psychiatrist. Never thought we'd need one. If you need my help, just give me a call. I work from home as well, so any time. Sorry to intrude. I'm Detective Catherine Forster, and this is Detective Clarence Martini. We need to ask you a few questions about Elizabeth Murphy. Hit me with them. So you're the psychologist now? Psychiatrist, and yes. How long will she be out? No idea. His style doesn't match any predators we know of. Have you any idea of his psychopathy? Surely you have your own forensic psychs. Why are you asking me? We found a syringe filled with metazolam. A restricted drug that only doctors and a few select nurses have access to. Hence, our attacker has a medical background and this is the only hospital Liz has ever been in. Attacking her on the doorstep means that he knows the family well. The blitz style attack suggests that he doubted she would come with him voluntarily or that he could subdue her if she decided to run. And I must ask you, do not speak with Liz until I say you can. Thank you. Can we have a word? Been in a fight. Ex-lover's husband. And I won't press charges. Why not? Same reason you're here. You found her and brought her here, right? Look, I've had an awful day, so if that's all you've come to ask me about, then... Can you substantiate your whereabouts earlier this evening? Ask at the Rustic Cafe. I was there. We will check with them, but we need you to come down to the station in the morning. You still think it was me? It's to rule you out of this inquiry. I do my job, and you think that you what can What better way to cover a crime than appear the hero? with the progress Liz has made. But uh, I'd like to go over the events just one more time. Do we have to? Yes. I was an idiot, um, born that way. Um, I walked home on my own. He hit me. He dumped me in some alley. The doc found me. And I woke up in hospital with a tube down my throat and two months had disappeared. He tried to kill me by slitting my wrist. But I'm a slow bleeder. I beat him. Um, he tried, but I won. You've come a long way. Want some cured? We'll see. I'd like to see you in, say, a month's time, just for a routine checkup, and keep taking your medication. Yeah, cool. Great, yeah, you can go. Okay. Come on. Thank you. You're welcome. Hey, how's you? 
peculiar. You've been seeing the shrink. <laughs> yeah, I'm surprised you didn't need her. Well, why's that? Nah, oh, I bet you went mad pushing me around that wheelchair. <laughs> nah, gave us a chance to get to know one another. But you don't come and visit me so much anymore. Well, being all cured, I don't need to come so much. I haven't had a nightmare in months. Great. You must be very happy here. I am. We've got we've got to go. Come on. We'll see you. See you later. Hey, Alex. Hey, how are you? Uh, I'm good. I'm actually very good. I know I shouldn't be telling anyone this, but um, my therapy works. It actually really good works. Great. Right. That's fantastic. Doc, how's things? Give it up. Only when we're sure it ain't you. Go fuck yourself. So what do you think? I still think the doc's our man. Provocative? Actually, yes, I do. I just want to look good. Well, you can do it with a few more bits of clothing. I don't have any other clothes worth wearing. See, Dad, the rest are too old or too short. Like that isn't. Jesus, Mum, I'm not you. I'm not so stupid as to get pregnant at 16. Miss Levenstein, once again, not approved school attire. But sir, it is a school uniform. better with you. Just look at her. She's all over him. Thanks for the stuff, Tiger. Yeah, I thought you might like her. <laughs> it's her. Yeah, yeah, you know. She reminds me of you. It's, uh, she's a fighter. Oh, I've had it easy. I don't think so. It's just a bump on the head. So what's up? Hey, you know. Bitch. Have I told you I've liked you for ages? I thought it was just like today. Nah, been watching you for months. Maybe we should get to class. I think it'll survive without us. Look, Rob, I really don't think that. Relax. I've done this before. You really are nuts. Where is she? Where I left her. What did you do? Me? She was flirting with me. I went to kiss her and she flipped out. You're bloody unbelievable. She's 
Jesus. She'll be okay. What about you? What triggered it? A boy she liked. He... He said she just froze up. Froze up? Did he... Touch her? I have to go. How was your day, sweetie? Please, let me go. Well, why would I do that? I won't tell anyone. Sure you won't. You seem like a nice guy. A nice guy? Why couldn't I meet someone like you when I was younger? You, you don't need me. You have a lovely girlfriend. Yeah, because you're just so beautiful. I loved her so much. One day, she left. She's gone. I thought I could never love again. Then there was Lizzie. That's why you're here. tonight's lead story. Sarah Fisher, the young actress who recently helped in a reenactment of the abduction of Liz Murphy, has gone missing. She was last sighted outside her home at around 4pm. Anyone who has any information or leads is encouraged to contact the local PD. Juliet King. Yeah, I'm watching it. Look, we don't know if it's him. We can talk to the police though. Uh, don't bother. I've just arrived here. You really do live in a dream world, don't you? Just leave the door open for any psychopath to walk in. So I noticed. Karen Murphy's on her way. We need to talk to you privately first. Yesterday. Nope. But whatever, I've forgotten. I doubt it mattered that much. Liz, can we talk? I thought we were. We knew that this might happen. The therapy is designed to protect her from remembering anything connected to the rape. The medication she's taking augments it. The boy, he triggered something, but it shows us how well it worked. She is no worse off for an experience that she cannot remember. Karen, look, I know that this is hard, but you have to go with it. The therapy works. I mean, look, look at the pictures she's drawing. So, what happens next? What if they catch the man? The police believed he was gone, or else I would not have done the therapy. You can talk to me, Karen. Well, you need to talk to someone. Joey is a very good therapist. Who can help me forget everything? Good morning. <laughs> what? Yeah, everyone keeps giving me that look. Are you okay? Yes, why does everyone keep asking me that? You don't remember yesterday? Yeah, the day before today, usually. Gosh, what's going on? 
I don't get it. What have I done? <laughs> hey, psycho. Don't you remember? No, why don't you tell me? God, you're a head case. Do you have any idea Shut what up! That... You're gonna protect her forever? If I have to? Like yesterday? When are you gonna tell her what really happened? You say a single word. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Michelle? Please, talk to me. Can we just put this behind us? I thought you were my friend. I am, I just, I need you to trust me. Since when do we keep secrets? Lizzie, please don't push this. What? What? I just want to say hi, chat. Yeah, I don't think so. But I thought... Look, we all give you space. But you're just fucked in the head. Yeah, I don't get it. That follows. She was fine this morning. She wasn't fine last night. Well, Dr. King said it was part of the therapy. Look, OK, what is going on? You know, Misha's been acting weird all day. You've been stranger than normal. Everyone just keeps staring. Have I developed some sort of handicap I don't know about? Look, I say something and there's the look. Sit down, please. There's nothing wrong with you. Then why with the weird looks? It's uh, hard to explain. Try. I'm not sure where to begin. Is there something wrong with me? Look, it's like everyone is looking at me and seeing something that, that I can't. I can't tell you yet. Talk to me anymore. You could have said something. I didn't know what to say. I wanted to tell her everything. We can't, you know that. But the look in her eyes. I can't see her suffer again. You don't like milk? You're a bit young for wine. Anyhow, I need your advice. I just want my Liz back. And I thought kidnapping you was going to do that. They're protecting her somehow, stopping her from knowing about you. I just don't know what to do. Oh, I'm sorry. Ow! Now, have you got any ideas? Yes. Let me go. It's not all about you, young lady. I'm opening up to you here and you're making fun of me. I got to wall this effort. I don't even know Liz. And at the moment, I don't care. Don't talk about her like that. You owe her. How the hell do you figure that? Because of her, I've been drugged, gagged, and now I'm sitting here at this shitty dinner table with my hands tied behind my back and some psycho's idea of romance. So forgive me if I don't like her. She's the only reason you're still alive. Once I have her back, why would I need you? I'm sorry, okay? 
I didn't take Liz from you. I had nothing to do with it. This isn't my fault. What? Okay, but you've got to promise me that you're going to be quiet. Good girl. And Sarah, thank you for your help. I know now what to do. As the photons from the sun strike a leaf dependent upon the surface area gives us the quantity of the sun's energy taken in. Miss York, if you'd be so kind. So I have to... Come back inside. We'll talk about this afterwards. I can't leave her on her own. Michelle, I know this is hard, but you don't know where she's gone. Be here for her when she comes back. But, sir... I'll talk to her mother and to a psychiatrist and keep them fully appraised of the situation. But standing out here is not going to help her. Alex. Hey. You, uh, you mentioned having nightmares. Liz, covered in blood, begging me to help her. How often? Oh, every night. At first it wasn't so bad, but now I'm afraid to go to sleep. Alex, I can help you. I know. You're always so nice to me. I feel like I really know you. Thank you. Uh, but this is wrong. Is it? Oh, I won't tell anyone. Alex, I can't treat you. If there's anything, I would lose my license. And then I can't help you if I do. I trust you, Doctor. And I know you wouldn't abuse the trust of your patients. Then trust me on this. We can't be anything more until we resolve what is troubling you. Okay. I gotta go. Joey, hi. Hey. Hey. Oh. How you doing? Oh, you know, each day comes and goes, I don't wonder why I try. How's that do? Good, come on. <laughs> I come home to find my landlady telling me that my TV's been blurring away for an hour. And she was just about to call the locksmith. How do you think that would make me look if someone had come in here and found you? They'd think I was some sort of a pervert. I'm sorry, but how am I supposed to trust you? Don't make me ask twice. Be like that then. But I bet you can't guess what just happened to me. I've got a new girlfriend. The good Dr. King. Which means I'll get my Liz back. And all the screaming in the world's not gonna save you then.
evening. So sick of this. Calm down, okay? You going off with her again is not going to help. I don't need you to tell me what to do. Hardly far of the year. This is the second night running. Do you realise what time it is? Why won't you tell me? Oh, not this again. Yes, this again, whatever the fuck this is! Don't you swear in my house! Oh, that follows, because you sure don't feel like mine anymore. You ungrateful little shit. Do you have any idea how much your hospital bills cost me? How hard I'm having to work just to make ends meet? You see? Do you have any idea what you just said? She swears. She lies. She skips school. She never used to. I look at that girl and I don't see Liz. Stop saying that. You just don't get it. You never understood. I never wanted to be a mother. I was only 16. I don't even know if I want to be one now. You think I had no dreams? No places I wanted I to, go. to go? But I married you because it was the right thing to do. And because of a little baby girl who I love more than I ever knew I could. Where are you going? to strap my baby down. I don't. I can't. She's just a child. I can't. She's a risk to herself and hospital personnel. She's not some damn criminal. Let me speak to the boss. Just get it done. I'd love to stay and watch TV with you, hun, but Liz is back in hospital. I'm just gonna pay her a quick visit. You been to see her yet? It's got nothing to do with you. Yeah, I thought so. Can't face her knowing what you did. You don't know what you're talking about. Well, with a lying friend like you, you may as well slit a wrist yourself. She was right, I have to go. Oh, I'll come with. No, I need to do this on my own.
my stress. And I go, please, I don't want to be alone. I know what they did to you. What do you mean? I don't, I don't understand. He's in your head. He said he would. Sorry. 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 He said he would. Sorry. He said he's coming back. Coming back. Liz? He said he would. Liz, look at me. He said he would. He's coming look back. Look at me, Liz. He said he would. He's coming back. Hannah? He's coming. He said he would. I won't hurt you, please. Hannah? He's coming back. Hannah? He said he would. He said he would. It's no use. She won't say anything. He said he's coming back. He said he would. He's coming back. He said he would. Look, sir, it says very clearly on the side, do not inhale. Hey. Hi. How's the arm? Had worse? She's calmer, maybe even asleep, but she had a rough night. Can I just keep the company? I'm sorry. Hey, no fair. I can't make you look at me. I can barely look at me knowing what I did to you. Letting that man attack you. Happening. One minute she seems fine and then suddenly she's not. These fits she's having are the true memories reasserting themselves over the false memory. We don't have a choice. I'm so sorry. Talk. I'm not going anywhere. These nightmares you're having, what do you see? A captive. And a man hurting her. I wasn't just it over the head, was I? And the scars. I did that to myself. The girl in the dream, she was raped. But I don't remember. What did you do to me? Your parents called me because conventional therapy had failed. We couldn't calm you down enough to talk to you. So I gave you a mixture of psychotropic drugs enough to calm you down to give the therapy a chance. I hypnotized you. You're my doctor. How could you? Liz, please, if you just no, calm down. Don't I'm... call me Liz like you know me because you don't know me. I can understand how you feel. How can you? I don't even know what I'm feeling. I'm having nightmares and the girl in them is me, but I don't remember it. I can help.
help you. Oh, so you keep saying. Why should I trust you? God, just, just let me go! Let me go! You have trusted me before. You can trust me again. Together we can get through this. Get out! Liz. Oh, just get out! This is my life. This is my chance to make a difference. And you are. What about Liz? Liz is one patient. We both know how inexact psychology is. When is anyone old enough to understand why? Why another human being could be so cruel? Sometimes never. One of my patients. She can't see past what he did to her. And yet that's what my therapy is about. Normally the brain kicks into denial to protect the mind and the patient gets on with living. They achieve things, they rebuild their self-esteem, they, they conquer their attacker. In time they have to face up to their trauma, but by then they have more in their lives to deal with it. This couldn't do that. Her mind couldn't kick into denial, and that's, that's where my therapy came in. It was never meant to be permanent, Joey. I have never wanted to hurt someone as badly as I would the man that attacked that girl. I've got to get back in there. Do this. You're stronger than you know. Okay. You wanted to see me. I've been thinking and I understand something. I don't have a choice. I don't trust you, but you're all I've got. You did this to me, you can undo it. I think you need more time. That was as good a time as any. I'll make it as gentle as I can. <laughs> I can't be gentle. I never had a chance to fight it in my own mind. A chance to have those dreams where I win, where I beat him up and leave him to rot. You know, every memory rips through me. It's in there and I can't stop them. I never had a chance because you took that away when you violated my mind. So no, it can never be gentle. I need you to be calm though. And I can help you with that. You're not drugging me again. All right. I want you to take a deep breath, relax, and close your eyes. I'm going to count back from five. And I want you to drift back in time. You're at school. Five, four, three, two, one. You're painting the classroom with Michelle. Watch out for strange men. <laughs> Scared of the boogeyman. Ah, kick kick his ass. ass. Liz. Okay. I tried to escape, but the cuffs won't break. I tried, I did. And he would sit there. I could just hear his breathing.
Why? <laughs> see his face. Ah, oh, get me blindfolded. How could he do that to me? It's all right, Liz. You've been very brave. Can I have kids? I can't answer that. But I promise you, that we will get him. How <laughs> can you? You needed me to see him, know him. I couldn't even do that. Liz, it's all right. I just need to be alone. Do we want to know how it went? She's amazingly strong. But it's only a front. She's hiding a lot of pain. She knows everything. Did she... Did she recognise? He kept her blindfolded. Feel any better? Not really. Why didn't you tell me? We did what we thought was best for you. You never asked me. We couldn't let you suffer any longer. We didn't know. You hate me. I don't hate you. You don't even want me. If you told me, explained, then maybe I'd have understood. But you never did. You look like you need a break. I need someone to talk to. Aren't I supposed to be doing the talking? You did very well in your session today, Alex. So what can I do? Go back in time. Stop this from ever happening. On it. But I don't know what to do for this. Oh, you'll see what to do soon. You gonna stay hiding over there? I bumped into your parents. They said I should give you time. Yeah, they've said and done a lot of things. Get in here. Nightmares. <laughs> scared to hurt myself. Or someone else. But hey, I've graduated to a wheelchair. Told them I wasn't staying in bed anymore, so they strapped me to a chair and I still can't go anywhere. school? Quite without you. Lonely. Alison and Wendell continue the battle of what to wear. <laughs> Today she went for the torn clothes look. They all knew, didn't they? No one ever said anything. I wouldn't let them. Yes, I noticed. Why didn't you tell me, Mish? How could you lie to me? I didn't want to believe it had happened. No one did. I wanted to tell you everything, but your parents, the doctors, they all said it would hurt you if I did. I'm so sorry. I really am. You, um, 
I think these wristbands are as good as my black one. <laughs> Come on. You got your L plates. I got my seatbelts on. I need to get out of this damn room. It's a drive, girl. Come on. Ooh. Gee, two weeks in there, I forget how bright it is out here, eh? <laughs> you do. Oh, thanks. Shouldn't you be at school, Mish? Yep, I'm a rebel. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> it is kind of cool. When'd you get them? About a week ago. Mm, very rebellious. Oh, thanks. Yeah, big time. <laughs> hey, thanks for your advice. Go get for it tonight. Okay, let's do it. What? Therapy. Alex, I'm not... Come on, you need to get your confidence back and I need to be free to move on. Come on, let's go. Nervous? No. Nope. Well, what's this for? It's herbal tea. It'll help you relax. Um, what's going to happen? You'll relax and they'll hypnotise you. As we've discussed, the root of the trauma appears to be Liz arriving at the hospital. So I'll modify your memory and you'll believe that you weren't there. I'll also block your access to the memories of the nightmares. So no trigger? And no knowledge of the nightmares? So hopefully no more nightmares? Wish me luck. You won't need it. Now... I want you to concentrate on your breathing. Alex, you can trust me. Mm -hmm. How do you feel? A little disorientated. It takes a while. I'm going to ask you some questions. Do you know a girl called Liz Murphy? Yes, sweet girl. She was hurt just a while back. I wasn't on duty that night. But listen, I might go for a walk, clear my head. If you need me, anytime. Hey, Walker! When I said Juliet was my girl, I meant it. Guess what? I just got hypnotized by Julie. I'm cured. I just killed her ex-boyfriend. So obviously, I must be cured. A big day. It's about to get bigger. Everything will be all right. I'm just plugging you into the mains. It's the 240 volts that will kill you. The computer's nothing but a counter. It's a fail-safe, sweetie. If I get caught, you're my bargaining chip. Of course, if they don't want to bargain, you'll be electrocuted. It'll all be over. Well, I gotta go. Be good. Checking me out. You're back. How are you feeling? Great. Let's celebrate. You sure? Julie, my dear, tonight is going to blow your mind. You said that when I was cured. I don't know. Why, oh, you trust me? Cool. Get on some gorgeous clothes and let's go.
I've been thinking. I've been saving my pay from the supermarket to buy you guys a wedding anniversary dinner, but I went a little shit shaved. We didn't know. Well, you never went. So off you go. We couldn't. Look, you and Dad need to talk. You can't solve our problems for us. I'm not, okay? That's why you're going away to talk, because you can't do that with me here. We can talk. I need to talk some things through as well, and I can't do that with you guys hovering around me like I'm going to flip out. What, what if something... Michelle will call you if anything goes wrong. Okay, you're only up the road. This wasn't my idea, but I will call. How long have you been planning this? About a week. Now go. Hey, see? That wasn't so hard. <clears throat> Lizzie, sweet, no more thinking, okay? <laughs> oh, okay, that's harsh. <laughs> no, it's not. It's all good, it's perfect. Can you feel? You feel what it's like to be controlled. You think you can control me? Newsflash, Julie. Your hypnosis didn't work. What, you just thought you could take a human mind, shape it, make it your own? Liz Murphy's mind was mine. You gave her a life without me. And because of that, she's suffering. And now, you're dead. Dr. King, are you in there? If there's any problems, I've got your number and I'll call. Good. Wonders for the waistline. Yeah, right, because <laughs> you really need to lose a few pounds. <laughs> hey. Yeah, we need to cut up. What? It's faster. We need to so that Catherine can go get Sarah as soon as you find out where she is, right? Can you come with me? How much head start for you? Enough. <laughs> Do you know good? Fish! Fish, what you doing? Need a push? Oh, gee, Alex. What are you... Where's Michelle? In the boot of my car. What'd you do to her? I dealt with her. I don't get it. Mm, you really did. What are you doing here? Come for you. Why else? What? Your dad will be home just... In about five hours. I know everything because you told me. 
You asked me how to help your parents and their problems, and what do you know? You took my advice. I thought you were my friend. Well, friends always hurt you the most. Surely you wouldn't forget my touch. Good girl. Don't be falling down on me now. Last time was way too easy. This time we're going to give you a head start. Impressive. Give me that cute smile you always do. For months, Lizzie. I know everything about you. Including where you would hide. There's no one else in this world for you, Lizzie, but me. Simple orderly? I think not. And she thought she could rescue you. Did she succeed? Cute little glances. I knew you were in love with me. But they didn't want us to be in love. And now you're suffering because of them. You tried so hard to finish it off. You need me to help you. No one's gonna miss you. I promise. Not Mum. Not Dad. Well, not her. You want me to finish it for you? Lizzie! Liz! Where are you? 
I'll get you the right. To hurt me, to destroy my life, you fucking asshole! Why are you just oh. Well then, Michelle, do you know how to play this little game? Now, Lizzie here tells me that you blame yourself for what happened. Well, guess what? You're right. Yeah, that's right. It's you I first noticed. Your insecurity screamed out to me, and then I saw why. This the little whore. Yeah, she wanted you to be weak. That's why I took her. Bullshit. It's not my fault you're a sick fuck. Well, stop me or save her. I'll be seeing you both. I'm not going to let you walk out of here. Watch me. Remember that cup of tea? It had rohypnol in it. No smell, no taste. A date rape drug. You can't remember a thing. But it makes you really susceptible to anything, including hypnosis. Congratulations. You're a real killer. Sarah's got maybe 10 minutes left. As far as your hypnosis, it wasn't that effective. Anyway, you're stuck in there, and I'm walking right out of here. I doubt that. <laughs> Did you really think we wouldn't catch you in the end? This is Forster. Sarah's safe. She's with me. He didn't leave me. Oh, wow. How the hell do you breathe in this thing? <laughs> Optional extra. Great. <laughs> Wimpy? Well, maybe. Look, can I get out now? wrong. <laughs> you see, there's an order to things and that's me topping the class. It's how it's always been. Yeah, I didn't mean I give a little more time to study at night. Still not sleeping. Ah, oh, no, no. Maybe in the nightmares, but I know he's not coming back to make sure of that. I'd have been terrified facing him in court like you did. And you faced him in the parking lot. I was there, remember? Yeah, okay, so I have my moments. <laughs> oh. Yes? Can we help you? Oh, they're way beyond help. We're beyond help. I heard they wanted to throw you in the loony bin. And? Well, it goes to show what a head case you are. And? Well, well you just... You just screwed up. Yeah? <laughs> and? Hey, by the way, Olivia, you look good with Rob. You what? Hey, he's not with you anymore. <laughs> oh, to be mine? Yeah, well, he's Hey, he's still pretty cute. He dumped Francis for you, and now he's going up one of her game. <laughs> Poor Francis. And here I was, thinking that you wanted to hit him. Can I hit him? No. For the brains now, I'm the muscle. Oh. What am I? Um, the weird one? In a lovable way. <laughs>